it's like nearing the end of the spring into the early summer. Well, that's what you get. Um, yeah, um, I know some people are wondering where are some specific content that I was planning in the last update that I never got into. Well, uh, I think it's probably because, well, I'll explain a little bit more, but it's almost like I always want to make content usually a lot during the beginning of the year, but it's like after the award season and when I do my Oscar movie marathon, I usually do like a massive break of making videos. Well, hopefully, maybe this summer, I can hopefully try to do things here, but a couple of announcements as well. Yes, this is the typical May update, I would say, because I, I think I did this, well, kind of a spring update of what is about to be coming up during the summertime. Um, as some major announcements going on, some highly anticipated videos, and some creative projects that I do want to do. But I just want to start up with the first video, um, first thing I want to talk about in this update is regarding my Q&A. Uh, for those who don't know, during um, Oscars month, I had made a Q&A, um, announced a Q&A informational video, and I had specifically made like a Google Docs form of you sending your questions um, and to make sure that there's no spammers, I had made a security for emails only. Well, I have unfortunately to announce that the Q&A is canceled. Um, I think it was number one, I just really couldn't film it that well. But number two, the main reason is I didn't get enough questions. But um, I think it's because since I don't have that much subscribers, there's not many people asking questions or because I specifically use the email L, uh, for the security, probably maybe like if I do something next time, I'll probably do like their social media links to make it more safer than just your average email account. And this is just an order for me not to do spammers, but hopefully I'll do a first legit real Q&A soon, but probably not this year. Maybe not next year, maybe either when I pass to either 5,000, maybe 10,000. We don't know about the latter one, but probably if I get more subscribers, um, if I get more subscribers, then the Q&A will be resurfaced. But for the Q&A that was planned for this year, it has been canceled. So I would just say thanks to the eight people that actually did submit questions, but unfortunately I never got into the project. So... But hopefully you guys can resubmit it again in the next time in the future. But there is other no another content that is actually not canceled, but postponed. And that is actually regarding my retrospective, a little mini retrospective, if I can get this, on the um, N-Scale Bachman Thomas and Friends range. Now, I had made this in the first update video where I was going to be looking at like this end scale set, as well as a Percy and a couple of trucks and trucks. Um, it's just not because it's difficult or anything to make. It's just that I originally tried to do the video for improvisation form, which that's, I really should have not done that. And I should have gotten into the writing stage, but I'll explain this a little bit later. So um, it will explain it near the last thing I will mention in this update, but at the moment, the N-Scale Bachman Thomas and Friends retrospective video has been postponed. Um, it's not canceled, unlike the Q&A, it's just been postponed until further notice, until when I'm ready to actually make that video through my writing status, because... The thing is, obviously, when I was trying to do the early stages of the original video, I tried not to make it, like, a rip-off or something like that of other Thomas reviewers or especially Liamkin video. Like, I didn't want to do a style of a Liamkin video video because that's just blatantly a massive rip-off. But um, I had to figure out something else, but the writing stage is probably the real difficult part because trying improvisation, as I said wasn't really my thing so I gotta really have to think about it but I'll explain a little bit more later when it comes to be writing specifically part. But there are two videos that will be coming your way this summer. 
one in about, like, I would say, not this week, since we're at the beginning of the week, and not, like, the Memorial Day weekend, but the following weekend, I am so excited to do it and once again, if, if it still goes well, depending on how the pandemic, where we are, because obviously we do not know, especially the Memorial Day weekend is coming up, but hopefully the biggest thing that will be coming in the beginning of June is my Without a Q alumni vlog for June of 2022. Um, last year, it was so glad to go back to my high school for the return of the alumni show that was absent in 2020. And I just can't wait to go up there and honor, obviously, the seniors of the class of 2020 and see who's also going to be in there. Obviously, this was one of my older content that I had done prior to Macy's Parade Balloons during my high school days, and obviously had came up for the two alumni vlogs that I had done, both in the summer of 2019 and last year, respectively, of 2021. I can't wait to do this for 2022, and I'm not, I really am excited, but I don't want to get 100% excitement yet, because... I'm not there yet. I still have to go through this week and the Memorial Day weekend and then throughout the weekdays prior to um, next week. So be there, but we just got to, I just got to have to wait. So expect hopefully the vlog will be released on the weekend after the show um, that will be occurring. I don't know if it will be live stream, but well, we'll just have to wait and see. But there is going to be one other vlog that will be returning as well this year. For those who don't know um, where I live, it is the home of the Little League World Series. And obviously this year, all teams from around the world will be coming back. All the international teams, as well as um, the expansion for both the international and the United States side, respectively. And just a few weeks ago, uh, I believe it was earlier this month... Um, the Lycoming County Commission, or I think it was the Little League, I don't know who runs it, but in the middle of August, be on the lookout for a Grand Slam Parade vlog. Yes, the Grand Slam Parade that is the opening ceremony, ceremony for the Little League World Series is coming back this year, but as I said, it's going to depend on how the pandemic is going to be, especially when we get to the 4th of July weekend, but it is still going to be a month prior to Little League. But it is going to be not also the opening ceremony for the Little League World Series for this year, but also the first air time, um, the first event that will be taking place during the last days of summer, and also less sunlight during the evening and morning hours, and that means we'll be going into cold temperatures slash the fall. So yeah, I am excited to do hopefully those vlogs in the summer, depending on how the pandemic is going, especially the Grand Slam Parade vlog, because that was a fun time and I can't wait to hopefully do it again this summer. The next thing I want to talk about was actually something I originally planned to do if you follow me on Twitter, what I was going to do, but hopefully I am going to be doing it, hopefully. Um... Because with the recent announcement of one movie being pushed back a year, and I the recent release of one film that will be getting its digital release soon, and probably its Blu-ray in home media releases, I will be planning, hopefully, on doing a ranking on the Spider-Man movies. Um, I will, yes, I am going to be doing, like, another one of those users that will be ranking my personal ranking of each of the Spider-Man movies. The Sam Raimi trilogy, the Mark Webb movies, uh, Venom, Into the Spider-Verse, uh, the John Watts MCU trilogy, including Spider-Man No Way Home, and the recent release of part of Sony Spider um, Universe, Morbius, which that's the only one I haven't seen, although I'm not really looking forward to it because I heard it's really bad, even worse than the Venom movies. But as soon as I see uh, Morbius um, digitally, then I will be doing a ranking on each of the Spider-Man movies. Now, if you know, in my home media collection, I actually do have Blu-rays for um, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I'm, I'm sorry, I actually like that movie, and Venom, a movie that I, that I like that I don't get why people don't. 
Um, but those are the ones. Hopefully, I can try to get um, some more Blu-rays as soon as possible, including some of this year's uh, Oscar-nominated movies of 2021 that I am really hopefully to get, including two of them that are going to be in the Criterion Collection that will be released this summer. Keep more expecting for more Criterion Blu-ray updates. Hopefully, I'll do another regular Blu-ray update soon. But yeah, so as soon as I watched Morbius digitally, then I'll be ranking all the Spider-Man-themed movies. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so now let's talk about um, two things. Well, the first thing, of course, obviously, as you guys know, Macy's Parade Balloons has came to an end, of course, last year. And I had kept mentioning in the last update there is going to be a special video. Well, like I said, I'm still giving you a heads up. I am still not going to reveal it. There might be a little bit more details probably once we get to, like, the end of August or September or something like that if I plan another update. But if not, be on the lookout for a video that hopefully I would plan either to be released either in the beginning of September or at the beginning of October. But... We don't know where we're going to be at this moment, but I just want to mention you, I still have that idea in mind, but I just cannot reveal it to you. And finally, for this um, update, I want to discuss a little bit about, of course, something I mentioned earlier is regarding writing. Um, obviously, um, writing is not one of the best things to do when it comes to making videos because it's probably some of the most difficult things because you try not to make it as copy paste as possible from like other contents you make sure that you have like some of the right sources or stuff like that and try not to use the same words that you would say in every single sentence and that's why it was kind of difficult for me I thought okay maybe I should do improvisation a bit with the Q&A or the and scale Thomas retrospective video but they were not going well, and I think I said myself I should have probably done them in writing form. And I still am regretting that, but then I was thinking, I'm probably not ready to write those type of contents yet. And obviously the only written material I've done are some of the Oscar reviews I have done um, in my former show, as well as Macy's Parade Balloons. And obviously, if I want to actually get the writing for the end scale retrospective as well as the ranking for the spider-man movies how i'm gonna do it ladies and gentlemen i am actually announcing um that there is going to be a mini series that is going to be coming into my channel but not during the fall but starting throughout the summer hopefully depending on it this will be probably maybe a summer series but it really depends um, in order for me to practice writing, what better way to do it than something Macy's Parade related? Ladies and gentlemen, I am announcing that I am going to be doing a mini-series on ranking the songs on each year's of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. What that means is I am going to be ranking every song that was in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in their respective years on what I think was my least favorite up until the best not also that this will be kind of showing you a little bit more of my more macy's parade content but also to see where i am in the style of music i know it would be kind of off-putting because of um christmas music in summertime but yeah i am hopefully to plan to start it next month probably not in the beginning i would say because of the without a cue vlog but hopefully once I finish watching some specific movies that I need to finish up because I'm kind of still doing like a couple of 2010 movies and as of this recording I'm in the last three days of watching the Harry Potter films. Yes, I'm watching the Harry Potter movies for the first time. Um, but that's out the subject. So once I kind of finish some movies and probably finish all the 2010 Best Picture nominated movies that I've missed, then I will start making this series so i'll probably take probably put the 2010 movies up for a break for a while and then so i can make this series now obviously this is not going to be like a yearly season i am actually going to be doing um 
ranking each of the years. As I said, this is going to be a mini-series. This is not going to be like a season one or season two. This is just going to be one series, I mean, one season, and that's it. But they're it. But that doesn't mean, well, how can I put this? Well, so here's the thing. I am actually not going to be doing like every single year, of course, but I am going through specifically 1997 through last year. I am going to be ranking each of the songs from these respective years from 1997 all the way up to last year of 2021. 2022 might be in this, but it depends. And so I think I might would make a yearly tradition of ranking each of the songs when a new parade year comes into fruition. But so for this mini series, I want to start it this summer. Yes, that's right. Starting next month. I am excited, and but it would definitely have to mean I wouldn't. So what I have to do first is listen to each of the songs individually, and then like rank them to see which I think were the best. Like this is going to be, of course, not just like the Christmas songs, but also the Broadway songs, all the regular songs, and even the songs that were only in the parade, to see which one I think was the best song of that year that Macy's and NBC had chosen, and the right artist they had picked. So um, this is going to be, of course, a perspective from my opinion, which is the best songs. But I think doing something on Macy's Parade content would definitely be a good step for me to go back into the writing stage a bit so I can do some of the other non macy Parade content in writing form, like my ranking of the Spider-Man movies and the N-Scale Thomas retrospective. So yeah, I don't have an official title for the series. I think it might not be... I don't think it's not going to have a serious title because I don't know where else to go. It just might be a playlist like ranking the Macy's Parade songs, but that's that's not a good series title. But that just might be a playlist title. So, um, yeah, I don't have like a serious title. But, yep, I will be a new Macy's Parade mini series is going to be coming your way starting next month. And with that said, that's with the dead for the um, spring into summer update. Um, if you want or are excited for this new mini series content, you can hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below which are you most excited to see, the Without a Q vlog, the Spider-Man ranking, more Blu-rays content, or this, um, mini series, the Grand Slam Parade vlog, or any other vlogs out there. So, just remember, Q&A is cancelled, and scale Bachman Thomas retrospective has been postponed. Without a queue and Grand Slam Parade Vlogs for the summer, ranking the Spider-Man movies, the special Macy's Parade video that I want to do, ooh, but you'll have to wait and see, and of course the new Macy's Parade miniseries I want to start next month. So, hope you all guys had have a, a great Memorial Day weekend coming up, and for those hoping you guys have a great summer, as we're going to be begin with some major content coming up. So get ready for next month.